Another big story today, remembering the life and legacy of former mayor Jake Godbold. He was known as the mayor of the people when he served the city from 1978 to 1987. Now, Mayor Godbold, he transformed the city with high profile development projects, and he is credited with bringing the NFL team, our Jacksonville Jaguars, here, of course, to Jacksonville. He also contributed to attracting the Mayo Clinic to Jacksonville, saving and restoring the Florida Theater, building JTB and the former Jacksonville Landing, as well as several other accomplishments. So today, the community that he helped build and helped to thrive, they gathered to pay their respects. Mayor Godbold, he died last month at the age of 85. His celebration of life services just wrapped up and on your side's Ken Amaro. He attended that celebration of life. He joins us live. And that's correct, Katie. It was truly a celebration of life, no somber moment, maybe a few tears here and there, about 1,500 in attendance to pay their last respects to the mayor, the one who has been described as a mayor of brick and mortars. You mentioned some of the projects during his tenure, his two terms in City Hall, he produced or introduced about a billion dollars worth of projects here in the city of Jacksonville, transforming the landscape, giving it a new name. In fact, it was called the bold new city of the South. Uh, those in attendance really hearts were lifted by some of the things that were said. Uh, fire and police acted as pallbearers as his flag covered coffin sat in the center of the Prime Osborne Convention Center where uh, visitors and loved ones can walk by and say hello uh, to his son, his granddaughters and family members and paying their last respects. I'm out front where the firefighters had a huge flag drape here uh, throughout the entire ceremony and now they're removing the flag. Again, fire and police were his big supporters so they acted as uh, Paul Bear. Some of the things that people said described him as a big tent guy, a guy that thought about everyone, those who had influence and those who did not, tried to get everyone to the table. Uh, he wanted to be sure that everyone realized that Jacksonville is their home and be proud of Jacksonville. Uh, so this was truly a celebration of his life and legacy, a legacy that many hope will continue for those, that new generation who don't really know him, but know that Jay Godbold meant a lot to this community. In fact, here at the Prime Osborne Center, I remember this was called the Union Terminal and they were about to get rid of it. And Mr. Godbold said, why don't we make it a convention center and working with Prime Osborne, who was a retired CSX uh, official, they got together and they converted what was a dilapidated building with historical values into the Prime Osborne Convention Center. Just one of the many things he's done uh, during his tenure in City Hall. Of course, we'll have a complete wrap up, talk with some of the supporters, some of the friends who were here today to pay their last respects. We'll have a complete wrap up at five and six starting tonight. Back to you.